Hello everyone. In this video, I will show how to use IX Navigator, this software, to online connect uh, one actual IX amplifier or IX sensor. And I will show how to back up the online configuration and how to transfer of offline configuration to online sensor. So, Firstly, we need to open X Navigator. And to connect one actual X sensor, uh, there are basically two ways. One is direct connection or network connection. So if you have a cable directly or point to point connect to the amplifier, so you can select the detect connection. And that usually, if you the first time you don't know the IP address of this amplifier, so that would be the best way because you do not need to figure out the IP address in the existing amplifier. You just direct connect that and then click this direct connection. Or once this amplifier and IX sensors, this system set up, maybe this system has a couple amplifiers and IX sensors in this system, and they all connected to a switch and your laptop also connect to this switch. So at that time, you need to connect this uh, network connection and make sure and make sure you select the correct Ethernet because if you use your laptop, usually your laptop has a Wi-Fi connection or this Ethernet network connection. So there would be a two ways to connect to this system. So in my system, I use the cable connected to the switch and then connect to the sensor. So once you select, make sure the you select the correct network adapter and then type in the IP address. If you know that, for example, the IP address of the amplifier and keep this port because usually for the IX sensor, they all use this port. Uh, or in case you do not know the IP address in the existing amplifier, uh, because maybe you want to connect a multiple amplifier. So that time you could uh, click this search sensor and this software will go to search the online amplifiers. Uh, because I know my amplifier, so I click the direct connection. So once we online connect this uh, sensor, so in this sensor, we use the two tools. Tool one use the height measurement and tool two use the step measurement. So we can see the tool one use the height check and check the actual height. And the tool tool is a step tool to check the, the delta difference between this tool tool that's two green spots. So usually once we connect to the laser sensor, so most of the time we try to reveal the arc of the images in this sensor. So by default, this sensor can arc up 100 pictures. But keep in mind, those all 100 images, some of them are good images, some of them are bad parts images. But by default, only rejected parts images will be archived. We need to go offline the site one settings in this sensor. And once we switch to online, that allows the system archive all the images. Because sometimes we need to reveal what the looks like of the actual good parts and what it looks like of the rejected parts. So there is one second. Once you click the detection history, uh, it will pop up this stop login to sensor detection history. So I would prefer to use uh, the continue login that allows your system keep running because you can see the current status of the sensor still in running status. Maybe your sensor is still working. So, but at that time, at the same time, you try to reveal the online images. So you won't stop the login images, right, most of the time. So you could select the continue login, allow the system to keep logging the latest the images.
From here, we can review all the pictures logged in in the sensor. Also, we can go to the login setting. This is a very important setting here. <coughs> By default, this setting is selected NG only. Uh, that makes the system workload a little bit lower. So because most of the time, parts will be passed by the sensor. Uh, NG case, always a small case, right? So by default, that is NG only. But however, sometimes you want to archive the, all the images. Like I said, uh, 100 images. You try to compare uh, the good parts images and the bad part images. So uh, most of the time, actually, we want our login all the images. That means we want to log in the good parts and the bad part images. So uh, to select this, you need to switch to offline, select this the same place, log in setting, and select the all instead of uh, ng only. Allow the system archive uh, good parts and the bad parts images. Or you can select this to select the online picture transfer to your laptop. Or switch this OK or NG so you can switch to the different view. So once we review the online images, maybe at that time you try to archive or backup the online images and the online configurations from this actual X amplifier or amplifier sensors. So that time, if you try to backup the online settings, we go to the backup and select the backup and select batch backup. This allows this software backup all the existing program. The safe detection history that allows you backup all the archived images. So we back up successfully. So after we back up the program, maybe by some reason, uh, you need to do offline simulation or you do some offline change based on the offline program. And after that, maybe the second day when you go on site and that time you try to load or transfer your offline program to online amplifier. So how we can do that? As the same portion, we still need to go back up, but this time we will transfer our offline program to online sensor. We go to back up, transfer program setting. Select one offline program and transfer this program to online sensor. Select, open. Select which program you want to override, or if also you can transfer the offline setting if the IP address need to change. So during this time, we transfer this on offline program to online sensor. So now the sensor already have the latest program. So after we transfer the program, we can click this trigger, take a latest picture. So this trigger button, we can select this, show or hide this button. Or we can disconnect with the online sensor. We can change another online sensor or reset static results. So this is all. Uh, we online connect this uh, X amplifier sensor. And we show how to backup the online setting. And we also show how to transfer the offline setting to an online amplifier. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up. If you like to watch more videos in my channel, please subscribe. See you in next video.